South Carolina, once again, ended the year on a high note, ending the year on a very positive note. And they're once again looking to build upon that momentum heading into the 2023 season. I really like what Shane Beamer is doing. Shane Beamer is one of my favorite coaches in college football. Just his attitude, his personality, the social media aspect of it is obviously really fun to watch too. But this is a team that is really fun to watch, easy to cheer for because of their head coach and what he's doing. And at this point, it's going to be interesting to see what does that mean for their success this year. We'll start with looking at 10 players that will have a big impact on this season. And we'll start with a guy who's played kind of everywhere for them. Dakarian Joyner is going to play running back this year. Now, whether or not he stays at running back, we're not really sure. Played wide receiver, played a little bit of quarterback at times. He is just Mr. Do-It-All. I, I think that he probably is what Shane Beamer really likes about a, a player is the selflessness. He is willing to do whatever it takes to play and to help his team win. And I think running back will be really a really good position for him, a really good opportunity for him to showcase his talent and to be able to f- get on the field a little bit more consistently. This is an offense with plenty of skill talent. The skill positions are loaded, especially at wide receivers. So maybe you just needed to move him to a different position. So what do the, they do to still utilize him in the passing attack? Because we know he can catch the ball. He is a trick play waiting to happen because of his ability to throw the ball too. So that opens up a new realm of possibilities for this offense as well. Eddie Lewis comes in from Memphis and a probably a reason why to carry Joyner is playing running back and not wide receiver. Lewis had a solid year for the Tigers last year, and now he's hoping that he can do the same thing for the Gamecocks in 2023. The skill position talent for Spencer Rattler is plentiful. So there's really no excuses at this point for what South Carolina should be able to do. And that's including some of the guys they lost. When you lose a talent like Jaheim Bell, when you lose against, you lose some of the players that they lost. Marshawn Lloyd goes to USC there. That means that you're expecting other players to step up or maybe there's some concerns, but you add some of the talent that they did. I'm really liking where this team is headed. It's just tough to play in the SEC is all. A player that gets to take it on a bigger role is Juju McDowell. When you lose Marshawn Lloyd, McDowell was one of those players that was in the rotation, and now he gets a chance to be the starter. He'll obviously share time with Joyner in the backfield. There are a number of other names that will contribute as well, but Juju McDowell, maybe not the most talented running back on this roster, but someone who could have a steady in hand in this offense. We go to another transfer, but on the defensive side of the ball, Jadius Gear comes in from Syracuse and has the potential to be a big time playmaker for this South Carolina defense. When you lose some of the talent that that South Carolina, you lost Jordan Birch, you lost Gilbert Edmond, you have to find some talent that can step up and play right away. And Syracuse obviously didn't have the best year last year and they lost quite a bit of talent. But Jadius Gear is one of those players in South Carolina that was more than happy to grab and he has good size he has the the length and the power that they need to compete in the sec and it's just a matter of playing at a high level and short jordan strogan is another one of those players that had he not gotten hurt you were looking at a guy who was set to have a monster year if he is back to 100 percent and he can get back to that momentum and build upon that you're looking at a guy who could just be an absolute game plan wrecker he is someone who has big time playability someone who could be an absolute unit for south carolina and that's huge for a team that has big goals for what they can do in the sec east now whether or not they're able to compete with a team like georgia they're probably still a little ways off for that but if you're looking at a team that's that's got momentum that is really fun to watch and has the potential to be really exciting in 2023 south carolina is probably pretty high on that list And when you add certain players via the transfer portal, you kind of create more buzz with that. And Trey Knox is another one of those players. Trey Knox, a couple of years ago, was one of the more exciting pass catchers in college football. And last year, obviously, not his best year, but still has a lot of potential. And at six foot five, has good size for this offense to utilize. It's It's a guy that you want to find downfield. It's a guy you want to get the football to. And it's a guy who can do some really exciting things and whether it's a jump ball up the seam, you name it. Trey Knox could have a big year. Trey Knox could be a big time playmaker and that would help this offense tremendously. The defense, honestly, with, with the, the losses they sustain on the defensive line, this could be one of the more 
I want to say, I want to say explosive, but one of the more exciting defensive lines to watch in college football, Tonka Hemingway, first of all, has a great name. And second of all, solid player in up the middle, you have the ends positions appear to be set, but up the middle Tonka Hemingway has the potential to be an even better player than he was in 2022, eight tackles for loss, four sacks, someone who can be disruptive, someone that can have a major impact because when you look at what's behind them, there's some questions right now, but there's still some talent. So it's just a matter of what does the defensive line do to help that team? A player that has a lot to gain from having a good year is Spencer Rattler. At one point we talked about him as the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. That obviously is a distant memory and he has fallen off quite a bit, but Spencer Rattler still has the talent to be an elite playmaker for South Carolina. He has the talent to be an absolute monster if he's able to rediscover that confidence and and South Carolina can take a step forward. Shane Beamer did everything that he could to bring in talent, to recruit talent, to help Spencer Rattler, and now it's just a matter of finding ways to get his playmakers the ball. The offensive line obviously has some things to figure out, but Spencer Rattler has the talent to do it still. That didn't disappear all of a sudden. It's just a matter of confidence, decision-making, and then from there, how do you utilize your playmakers the best? On the defensive side of the ball, you obviously lost a talent like Cam Smith. You lose quite a bit of talent in that secondary, but Marcellus Dial is back to help maybe stabilize that group a little bit. Maybe a future in the NFL. It's probably not as high as some of the guys that that departed, but still someone that you need to keep an eye on, someone who has the ability to make big plays. When you look at last year, 12 passes defended, three interceptions, and a guy who has been involved in this defense knows what this defense expects. It'll just be interesting to see what he can do. Now that he's playing a more prominent role. He'll face a guy, well, a wide receiver group in general in practice every single day that will test him quite a bit. Juice Wells is one of those guys, arguably the best wide receiver in the sec. He has an argument for that. A, the former James Madison transfer had a big year for South Carolina, and now teams know what he can do. So now he faces that challenge of how do I build upon that? How do I rediscover my confidence from last year? And how do I improve my game where teams can't just figure me out right away? Because this is an offense that expects to do big things in 2023. This is an offense that has plenty of talent to do what they need to do. And this is a team that is headed in the right direction. It's just a matter of how far away are they from the top teams and how high can they rise in the SEC East.